Are you a sarcastic person? Do you like those little uh, cynical remarks, little jokey jokes? We're just joking. This is just silly. We're just being silly. I'm just being jokey jokes. Well, if you are, then you are killing your relationship. And today I'm going to explain to you why and how can you avoid that. Hi, my name is Dr. Ocel Romanelli and this is The Potential State. Today we're on your shit 30. Cynicism and sarcasm. The joke is always on you. So first of all, what's the difference? So sarcasm is, is a sneering remark, okay? Where cynicism is like an overall disposition, an attitude of contempt, of pessimism, of, distrust, of, of mistrust. And what I've found in, in, in recent years is that, is, is that these like cynicism and, 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 and sarcasm, they're, they're just relationship killers. And why do people do that? So most often I find that people do this because they're replicating a script that they've inherited from their parents, that they've seen growing up, that their social settings kind of, you know, encouraged, or that was the way to get it popular, that was the way to get it be accepted. Also, teenagers a lot of times are sarcastic and cynical, but actually that's just a protection. It's a protection for being heard. It's a protection for being vulnerable. It gains, it keeps you safe, right? Because you're not actually saying something too vulnerable. You're keeping things fuzzy and vague. Keeps you also, it's a one up because the second you're sarcastic, you're a little bit one upping the other person, right? You're, the joke's always on their expense. And what happens when you're a cynical person is you start attracting to your life people that are also cynical, right? So you create professionally and personally, obviously in your intimate relationships, a cynical environment. And what's the risk when, you, when you're in a cynical relationship or a sarcastic relationship? First of all, over time, the listener doesn't really know if you're honest or not. Oh, I love your shirt. I had such a good time. That movie was amazing. Was it amazing? It wasn't. What happens? And then usually because it's, it's passive aggressive often, so your partner somewhere in it's landing as a sort of aggression of you being mean or pessimistic or so slowly there's no play. There's no vitality because everything is like with a little shade of, of sarcasm. That's like, ah, oh, like a little tint. And, over, and then over time, just the, the, the space, the relational space becomes unsafe. Because you never know as a listener, is he serious or is he joking? Is the joke on me? Or is he, is, is he, is he taking the piss on, on the movie? What's happening here? And a lot of times with kids especially, they don't know if you're laughing or not. So kids will laugh, but if they're growing up in a cynical environment, they're going to start confusing honesty and cynicism. They won't know what you mean. So if they don't know, they're just going to always protect themselves. They're going to, A, they're going to recreate this pattern, and B, if they don't know if you're honest or not, they're going to go for whatever interpretation feels better for them. So then everything becomes vague, and there's no growth. There's no movement. There's no caveman consequences, which means growing up, you know, hearing real truths, developing yourself, developing and deepening the relationship. And overall, it's just not fun. It's not fun being next to cynical people. Because at the end of the day, there's no honesty. It becomes almost like this competitive, these puns, these verbal quickness, like are you fast enough to get the joke. Everything's a layer on a layer on a layer. Everything's very left brain and heady. And just honest, pure, clean feelings are really, really hard. I want to give one example from the clinic. I, I was working once with a couple. They came after an affair, a major crisis in the relationship. And yet every time you touch a little bit of their pain, they both went sarcasm. One of them would throw a sarcastic remark, well, whatever, it's not that bad. And immediately the other one would laugh, like within a millisecond. And you could see that they were just, they fine-tuned this to have this cynic, the cynical uh, blanket over the relationship. They, obviously, they both inherited, they both grew up in those kinds of houses. But the cynicism allowed them not to, not to face their pain or their loneliness. They did not know how to communicate in an honest, open way. So everything was sarcasm and kind of jabby jabs or passive aggressive. And, and they were hoping, wishing that the partner will see beyond and go to the honest place. But it was hard for them to hold a clean, open space. And what we did is, we, I first of all named it. I, I gave it a code name called Jokey Jokes. Jokey Jokes. And the second we said Jokey Jokes, that was my way of saying, guys, why are we cynical right now? Let's clean it up. And it's a muscle they've been working on for the past few months, trying to realize how can they clean that up. So how do you minimize cynicism and sarcasm in a relationship? First of all, share this episode with your partner. And then especially if you're in a relationship or if you're realizing you're in cultures that are full of cynicism and sarcasm, the next, start practicing one-dimensional communication. You can refer to that episode as well, which basically means say honest things. Just be clear. Take a chance, right? You can also say bad things very directly. I did not enjoy last night. Or I'm very disappointed you're here. Or 
Try to find a way to just say what you feel. Say it very honestly. Get ready for ruptures. Get ready for pushback. In the beginning, your partner's going to think you're joking and they're going to laugh and say, ah, and you're going to say, no, I'm, not. I'm serious right now. They might experience you at the beginning as angry or as punishing them. If you can hold on to yourself and take a breath and, and you're going to practice meaningful endurance, realizing that cleaning up cynicism is not only going to be good for you, but it's also going to be good for your children. And then that is going to take time. And what's going to happen is you're probably going to also lose status. You're going to go become a little bit one down because suddenly you're going to be mocked or ridiculed. There'll be more fighting. Your partner will be more upset with you because suddenly you're saying things that are honest. If you can plow through that, what's going to happen is you're going to start slowly feeling this freedom of just being honest and being open and being optimistic and believing and wondering. And that's going to open up a whole new layer in your relationship. And that will also set an open and honest tone for your family and for your kids. So try to minimize sarcasm and cynicism in your relationship because the joke is always going to be on you. My name is Dr. Osel Romanelli, and this was The Potential State. I'll see you next time.